Welcome to our video on cleaning the PSP and getting it ready for the PS Pi version 6. Step 1 is to remove the faceplate. These are the screw locations. I missed the one at the bottom right of the battery compartment and it took about 15 minutes to figure it out. We're going to speed through most of this disassembly, but I'll return to normal speed at the end of each step and for important things to watch out for. At this step we remove the home bar. Home bar is the only thing that we need from this part. We are also going to remove the analog stick and buttons from the faceplate. Followed by the shoulder buttons and membranes. Now we remove the display. If your display works like mine does, be very careful here. It's a real pain to get out and it will break easily. If yours is broken, just be careful not to bend the frame too much as we'll be using it later. If your main board works, be careful with these zip connectors. The one for the backlight breaks easily. My display will go into an anti-static bag along with other working but unneeded parts. Remove all visible screws from the metal frame. Lay them out so you remember how they go back in. I've done this enough times that I just remember how they go. If you're like me and you miss that one screw on the pack, then the frame will not come out. I removed the UMD drive here, trying to figure out what was holding the frame on. To get the back off, I slip something in the bottom left between the door and the back frame, and it'll pop up. Four screws two zip connectors and some tape hold the UMD drive in place. Hey look, I finally found the screw. Be very careful with this little rubber part. It's easy to lose, and if you do lose it, you won't have a working thumbstick. Sorry, I lost the footage here. My SD card was full and it took me two minutes to realize. The right button board is easy to remove. So is the power connector. Both of them need to be saved as they will be needed for the upgrade. We will also be using the speakers as they are reused. Now we're ready to remove the main board. We will need a lot of the screws to so remember where they go. The next two parts are not needed. We will only be using the screws for the headphone board.
Remove the ProDuo card cover and we're done in disassembly. Put all the non-electric parts in a bucket and soak in soapy water for a bit while we clean up the workspace and electronics. We are just cleaning the contact points on all the boards with isopropyl alcohol. Alright, now it's time to scrub it all up. Just clean all the parts with the toothbrush and inspect all of them for damage. found that one of my shoulder button membranes was damaged. It's not damaged to the point that it wouldn't work, but I have extra, so I replaced it anyways. This part again. Look for it at every step. You don't want to forget and have it still be in the bucket when you dump out the water. Okay, now drain the soapy water and fill with clean water. Dry all the parts as best as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It will air dry the rest of the way. At this point, I would put the rubber part back in its spot. When you look at it, there are four lines that run through it. They should run front to back and look just like dots when installed.
And that's it. Let it air dry overnight before doing the installation. These are all the parts needed to make the PS5 version 6, with the exception of the screen, battery, and Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching, and remember, it doesn't matter if you make or break, as long as you're having fun.